Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the most important question from the interview perspective, which is how hash map internally works. We will see what is hashing, hash table, what are hash collisions, how the hash collisions are handled in Java, and how put method work in detail for hash. So let's straight away see the answer to the question like how hash map internally works. So whenever we call a map dot put method and provide a key and value, so in that case, at first the hash for key one will be calculated and whatever the hash value is returned for that index for method is uh, called to calculate the hash table index. So we will discuss all these things. What is hash table? What is hash code? So all these things we will discuss in detail. But for now, let's just see what will be the answer to the question. So once the uh, index value is calculated for hash table and then it will be checked if that specific uh, index is empty. So that is there is no data already stored in the hash table for that index then it will store the passed key and value pair to that index but if the bucket is not empty in that case the key value pair will be compared to the already stored new key, new key value pair and if it is different then the new element which we are trying to put in the map that will be stored as the next element in the linked list so whenever the values are stored they are stored in the form of linked lists so if the index number is same for the hash table then all new elements they will keep on uh, appending to the linked list uh, object but there is a slight change with the introduction of java 8 so earlier before java 8 all the elements with the same index they will keep on adding to the linked list but from java 8 there is a specific threshold defined like if that threshold is crossed that many number of elements are already added in the same index after that uh, all those bins those will be uh, converted to the balance tree instead of linked list because traversing the linked list is very uh, is not very economical but for the balance tree uh, the tra traversing or retrieval complexity is very low that is why this thing has been introduced and also one specific uh, hash code method which was implemented as part of java 7 for string that was also removed so these two changes were done in java 8 to improve the performance of hash map so this is the whole process how uh, the data is stored in hash map so similarly if we try to get any value similar to the put method if we try to get and pass the key so in similar fashion uh, hash will be checked for that key and then index for method will be called to calculate the hash table index and in that index then the value of key will be compared so in that case uh, if we found the match for that key in that particular index then the value corresponding to that key will be returned and that is how map dot get method also works so now as we are clear with the complete process now let's see the basic building components of a complete hash map which are hashing hash code hash table and in the end we will also see how these things are implemented in java by uh, checking the code itself in our one of the ides so what is hashing so hashing is a process of mapping the data to some integer value using the concept of hashing algorithms. In Java, a hash code is an integer value that is linked with each object. So what exactly is hash code? Hash code is the integer generated using hashing algorithms. So in this case, if two objects are equal, then their hash code has to be identical, but the vice versa is not same. That is two unequal objects may or may not have identical hash codes. If the hash code is same, that does not mean the objects are equal. But if the objects are equal, that means hash code must be identical. So what is a hash table? Hash table class in Java is a concrete implementation of abstract dictionary class. It is a data structure that can store a collection of elements or objects in the form of key value pairs. Hash table is synchronized, that is it is thread safe. The insertion order is not maintained in this case. Duplicate keys are not allowed, but values can be duplicated in case of hash table. It is the best choice if our frequent operation is retrieval of the data because that is very fast. As HashMap uses hash table as its underlying data structure, let's see how the elements are added in HashMap. So whenever you insert a new key value pair using put method, HashMap blindly doesn't allocate a slot in hash table. Instead, it calls hash function on the key and calculates its uh, hash code value. Then HashMap has its own hash function to calculate that hash code value for the key. This function is implemented so that it overcomes the poorly implemented hash code methods. 
after calculating the hash code of the key it calls index for method because you can see this is the hash table and the slots inside this are called buckets and they are having an index number assigned to them so to calculate that specific index number index for method is called by passing the hash code of the key and length of the hash table so this method returns an index number in the hash table where that specific uh, key and value pair will be stored as we have very limited number of buckets available and it's possible that the index number of two key value pair is same that situation is known as hash collision so a hash collision is when two pieces of data in hash table shares the same hash value or hash code value the hash value is derived from the hash function hash collision have negative impact on the lookup time on hash map when multiple keys end up in the same bucket then the values along with their keys are placed in linked list so this is the scenario uh, which was there before Java 8. Any number of hash collisions that happen, all those values, uh, key and value pairs, they will be stored in a linked list uh, under the same bucket. So let's see how uh, this will actually look like. So this is how it will look like. This, these are the buckets available in hash table. And uh, suppose there is first key value pair which is having the index zero that is stored in zero. And after that, there is one more key value pair for which the index is again zero so in that case it cannot be replaced with this as that is a different key and value pair so that will be added as the next element of linked list here in case of retrieval linked list has to be traversed to get any entry and the worst case scenario when all keys are mapped to the same bucket the lookup time for hash map increases from order of one to order of n because by default uh, the lookup time in hash map is order of one which is the quickest one and if all the elements for the worst case scenario if we see all the elements they share the same index number then that uh, complexity will increases to order of n which is very high so how this thing was handled in java 8 java 8 has come up with the following improvements or changes of hash map objects in case of high collisions the first one is the alternate string hash function which was added as part of java 7 that was removed Second, which is the most important one, the buckets containing large number of colliding keys will store their entries in a balanced tree instead of linked list. Now let's see how hash map internally works. So uh, that you can also check in any of your IDs also. So I'm using STS here, Spring Tool Suit. So here, uh, I just need to declare one hash map and I just need to press the control key on my keyboard and hover to the hash map. You can see few options are there. You can directly uh, left click then it will open the hash map class in front of you. So this is the class which is available in your JDK itself. Here you can see on the left hand side in project explorer. This is the hash map class along with the other classes and it is part of java.util package. So similar to this if you, you want to check any other class how they have been implemented you can do the same. So uh, as this is a very long class it will have a lot of functions and other components so it will be really difficult if you try to find the method like scrolling like this so for that you can uh, add the outline tab here so what out it will give you it will give you what all components are there and the list of all the methods which are available so it's a little easier to find uh, the method that which you are looking for if you do not have this by default on your ide uh, as shown then you can go to windows go to show pre show view and from there you can select the outline so here we are interested in finding out how the put method works so let me just scroll a little bit down so here we have our put method so i clicked on the put method so it has scrolled to the put method here so here you can see it is expecting key and value pair so this is how we actually put the value in hash map so let me show you uh, suppose if i want to add hash map dot put so here you can see this is how it is expecting one in key and one value so let's see how it's working so uh, after that it is again calling another method called put well but uh, other than these two values it is passing four different values here one two three four five different values to the put well method and here you can see the first value itself is a call to another function so we'll talk about this in a bit let's just see what are other uh, parameters it is passing key and values are uh, key and value is passed as it is then we have two other <coughs> parameters which are passed as false and true we will discuss it in uh, the put well method now let's see uh, the first one which is hash of key so we have been talking about like 
the hash map will call the hash code method will call the hash method which will determine the hash code for the key so this is the call where it will calculate the hash code related to the key now let's see this method how we can go to this method just uh, <clears throat> press the control key and click on this method so here this is the implementation is in hash map because by default we already have a hash code implementation which is present in object class but to improve its performance the hash map has its own implementation of hash code so this is how uh, it will return the hash code value the first one is very simple if the key is null then automatically it will return zero as hash code so this thing also we have discussed like if the um, key is null then it will be stored to the zeroth index so this is from where this will come like uh, if the key itself is null and one null key is allowed in hash map then the hash code value will be zero otherwise it will calculate using this logic what will be the hash code value so using this the hash value will be generated and it will be passed to the put well now let's go to the put well method to see what it is what is happening there let me just increase the size of this window a little bit okay so now here you can see uh, the other components which uh, were passed as boolean only if absent that is passed as false and evict is passed as true so this evict is not at all useful here because this is a part of linked list implementation but still uh, uh, this is being used as a call to put well method so here in the beginning itself it will uh, start creating the linked list and if the tree file threshold is crossed in that case uh, all the um, new components which are being added for the hash collisions they will be part of a balance tree so that logic is written here in this part of the code and next if you see uh, it will check if the mapping for key is already existing so in that case it will check the value itself if the value is same then it will not do anything else if the value is different then it will update the value here and return that specific value which has been updated and in the end it will see if the size of the hash map is more than the threshold so we have seen the initial capacity and load factor components previously so uh, based on those values it will call a resize method a resize method is nothing but it will uh, create another hash table and uh, store the well all the values there because the size is already greater than the threshold that means uh, a new table hash table has to be created and after the node insertion we are calling this after node insertion and evict if you see its implementation in hash map that is empty that means uh, it will not do anything but this specific method is a callback to allow linked hash map post actions so in case of linked hash map we may have some uh, post insertion uh, actions to be called so those are defined in linked hash map and once everything is done it will return null so you can see we will see that with an example so let's try to add one element here so the key key will be uh, an integer and value will be uh, a string so let's try to uh, enclose it in a system.out.println statement so as it's the first element so uh, i'm expecting to be returned here because if we are trying to uh, replace the old value then the old value will be returning otherwise null will be returned so let's try to execute this program and here you can see null is returned so now suppose uh, for the similar way the key is already existing and i want to update its value so updated in this case you can see as per the implementation it should return the old value so the old value in this case is one so i am expecting uh, one to be returned as an output here so let's save and execute the program so here you can see on the second time one is returned that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you next time